Good morning. It's Monday the 9th, I think it's the 9th of November. Um, I'm not so good on numbers, numbers aren't my forte. And it's a fantastic morning out there. It's raining cats and dogs, and the wind is howling, and there's trees banging in the window, and I just love it. Now, if I might direct your attention downwards, see, me brogues, I am pitifully proud of them. I think I am like the young people. I'm not sure about my jumper. It's it's very, very, very wide. It's from other stories. I've never, never been able to make anthem from their work. I don't think I'm sufficiently um, young, cutting edge. I love their things on the site, but then when I wear them, when they come in the post, I look ludicrous and then they have to go back. But I kept this. So last week I had a photo shoot. And if you'd seen last week's vlog, you would have known that my heart is heavy because I hate having my photograph taken because of the cut of me, the lopsided cut of my face and the triangular shape of my body. But anyway, it transpired to be lovely. It was in this fabulous house in Hampstead. I wouldn't want you thinking that the house is mine because it isn't. Um, and the photographer was the nicest man. He was very gentle and he was very sweet. And, um, and his two assistants were also lovely. And I always feel more vulnerable when I'm having my photograph taken by men's, but not this time. And, um, and he's, he just put me at my A's, do you know that sort of way? Um, and then I had a lovely makeup person, um, a <clears throat> lovely stylist. And then I had, it was fantastic. I felt like, uh, felt like Madonna. This is lovely Anna and she's been working on my face for about 45 minutes and she's made my skin really beautiful. So we're starting with the sort of a bare canvas. She's just curled my eyelashes and we're keeping it quite bare to start with um, because our first look is going to be very natural and uh, and then we build with, with colour and lipstick from there. But it's, I always love having my makeup done. It's very restful and peaceful, like the feeling of soft brushes against my face. <laughs> and I've learned about all these great products that I'm going to buy in the duty free. Right <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. And I had my um, publicist, Annabelle, my husband himself, my publisher, Louise Moore, and my fabulous marketing person, Liz Smith. And I've worked with Louise Moore for 18 years. Um, she's been my editor since the very beginning of when I was published in England. And she's still the woman I want to be when I grow up. Um, <clears throat> but it was funny because Louise has a vision for me, which is not my vision for me at all. And um, you see, I sent a very direct brief to the stylist saying, no neutrals, no neutrals whatsoever. I need colour. Um, but Louise wanted me in cream. So anyway, didn't I see a couple of cream blouses hanging on the rail and I was like, ah, here. Um, and uh, before I knew what end was up, I was being manhandled into a cream Stella McCartney blouse and um, shoved in front of the camera. And I wanted to shout things like, Stella McCartney, her shoes aren't even leather. Um, but anyway, I let them take the photograph of me in the cream yoke so that everybody could be pleased and then I could be allowed to get on with the colour. So it was great and we tried out loads of different looks and I mean, I, the photo shoot is, is a kind of a, it's, it's part of the life of being a published author. And um, I mean, it was a long day. Like we started at nine, we finished at half five. Thank you, sorry. Hello. <laughs> it's quarter. What time is it now? Quarter past four. Yeah, so it's been great. We've got tons of photographs taken and they're really lovely. Some really lovely ones. Awesome. Thank you. I have my people. It's fantastic. I have my water person. Hello, That's water Annabelle. person. Shoe um, director. I have my shoe director. Yes. I have my jewellery provider has gone downstairs. <laughs> I have a um, staff of thousands doing the photography stuff. Um, I have a makeup lady. I have a stylist. Um, it's been really great fun. Hasn't it, Liz Smith? It has. It has, yeah. Marquis. <laughs> How many of these have we done now? Oh, I don't know. Ten years? I don't know. Easily, like that. easily. Yeah, it's but, so yeah, nice. It's it's one one of my Thank you. Cold Thank you. It's one of my I, I, am, I am outraged, sure? Annabelle <laughs> Robinson. She's after giving me cold water. Oh. I asked for room temperature. You know I only drink room temperature. <laughs> Money messing. It sounds like you're doing nothing. You're just sitting there smiling. But... But it's, it's harder than that. That's not a good description. 
whereas it hurts your face and then you might have to stand in stupid positions and then like you might have to wear a Queen of Stella McCartney blouse that makes you look like you're dead and things like that, do you know? Um, and so partly this is for the cover of my non-fiction book, um, Making It Up As I Go Along, which is out in February, but it's also so that if newspapers want to do an interview with me, um, instead of me having to do another photo shoot, um, Penguin would be able to say, sure look at we have all these lovely ones of her, her here dancing around in, in, a, in a lovely coat in a house in Hampstead that isn't hers. Use this instead and let her alone to be writing the next book for the love of God. Um, so it was great. And then we went to Heathrow. Oh, do you know what we did? We went to Heathrow, the terminal too. And we went to, do you know the Heston Blumenthal has a kind of a, what would you call it? A restaurant, but in the, in the duty free. So it's not like, it wouldn't be like the fat duck nor the diners. But um, I had fish and chips and it was really lovely. And then I had funny ice cream that was made by nitro freezing in temperatures of minus 200 degrees Celsius, something like that. And um, it tasted a bit like ordinary ice cream, but it was, I mean, ordinary ice cream is lovely. So, oh God, so in the meantime, I've been writing my new novel, which this is all part of the process. It's, it's being tricky in that I've about six chapters written and um, I'm not feeling it. And this is, this is how it always is for me. Um, this is why I take so long. And this is why hopefully my books eventually work. My character, Amy, doesn't feel authentic yet. So I had a real hand-wringing day yesterday. Um, and went through the usual thing of will I just give it all up and be a bookkeeper again um, but then himself reminded me that I'm always like this and um, and he says it's good and I also gave it to my beloved friend posh Kate because she's you see you have to be very careful who you give your stuff to because my confidence is very wobbly um, and you, if you give it to someone who prides themselves on the brutal truth, you know, that's that's game over. That's me in bed for six months staring at the ceiling. Um, but Kate is very, very kind. And she's a writer as well, so she knows how pathetically needy I am. Um, so, But she was very nice. I, I was expecting that she'd come back and, and kind of give at least constructive criticism. But she'd none at all. So that's kind of encouraging. But I'm proceeding with caution. Also, the proofreading for um, making it up as I go along has arrived. So that's the process where like, I go through the book and look for spelling mistakes or bizarre sentences that have somehow made their way through from a hole in, um, in outer space and somehow landed up in, in the pages of my book. I mean, they, you know, computer glitches happen. So I have to be alert for that sort of thing. Um, and uh, and that's kind of it. Now I'm going over to Mind the Daddy. Um, I have other bits and pieces, columns to be at. Um, but uh, Pasha went last night. Lovely Pasha. He's so lovely. Isn't he just the loveliest man? Like, I have met him for reals, you know. I mean, not just when he stayed in the spare bedroom in the space rocket pyjamas in the lovely bed that's carved in the shape of a, 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 a motor car. Um, he's just he's really nice he's a very positive person but not a pain in the hole you know the way positive people you know these sunny cheery the glass is always three quarters full types how you might kind of get the itch to smack them no he's not like that he's just nice upbeat but not but not annoying so I hope you have a good week. I hope you're enjoying them fabulous winds and squally showers out there. I have to say this is my time of year. This is my happy space. Um, yeah, have a good week. And I will be back to you next Monday with news only progress. Um, oh yeah, finally, a tank and you, tank and you, tank and you. If you could all make your way to the nearest exits, I will be appreciating it and a tank and you.